live from the new George G. Beasley Media Complex and the Wayne L. Sumner Studios. This is your college, your station, your music. 90.5 WASU-FM Boom, the app. Good morning, Vietnam! Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. Oh, this is going to be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. You're waking up with the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Welcome in here to the morning app and... Happy Monday. I know we're all excited for another school week. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I love school. <laughs> <laughs> <The> learning. <laughs> I just love going to class. I love studying. Uh, well, Every I'm, night. <laughs> I'm Joshua Kornmeyer here with Howie C., our special guest today, Molly Brady and Kristen Koklenberg. And if you guys can't tell by my voice, I had a rough weekend. <laughs> Still extremely sick because we had way too much fun this weekend. Yes, we did. It way was, too it much fun. It was a fun. great weekend, guys. The weekends are always great with y'all, though. Oh, don't don't hit me with that. Oh <laughs> no, that was not sarcasm. I was being genuine for once <laughs> in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was a really fun weekend. We all got together and uh, just had a, a really chill, fun night. <laughs> shindig. It was wild. <laughs> oh, shindigs. <clears throat> Real shindig. <laughs> How about shenanigans this weekend? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, Josh, hit him, hit him with the story. Let him know what happened right, at Kristen's um, apartment. <laughs> okay, first off, we all know Kristen is extremely... What's the word? I don't know. Particular? Particular. Yeah, yes. very particular. Like, everything in my apartment has its place. And yeah. if it is moved, even the slightest, <laughs> I will notice. Well, me and Howie uh, showed up to Kristen's place on Friday just to hang out a bit before we uh, hung out somewhere else and whatnot. <laughs> um, and the second I walked through the door, uh, Kristen was clearly distracted. I don't even know what with. But I, I whispered, Howie, like, Howie, you ready? He's like, what? I'm like, we about to move everything just an inch. And we <laughs> literally walked in. I was so freaked out. I moved her coffee table just <laughs> enough to make it slanted. I moved her TV stand just enough to make it slanted. <laughs> I rearranged all her little cookie jars and everything so they weren't from like tallest to shortest. I found all the little pebbles in her like pots, those little shiny pebbles, and I started placing them randomly throughout the house. Those were my roommate's <laughs> pebbles. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, because uh, we were around the car this morning. They were like, um, did you pull any shenanigans at my apartment this weekend? <laughs> oh my and I was like, hmm, who did that? I was really confused because I woke up and everything is just messed up. But I only really noticed the pebbles and the plant yeah. were moved. But they weren't even like spilt. It was as if somebody had strategically placed them in hmm. different spots. And so I asked my roommate, I was like, you know, did you come home and decide to redecorate or something? She's like, no. Did you move my spoon? I was like, no. I forgot and we, we were like, that. She was like, oh my God, let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we re- and oh she just freaked out. And I was like, you know, we have had, you know, experiences with ghosts in the past at this apartment. And she was like, Kristen, stop, stop. And I was like, you know, maybe though, of all people, I was like, you know, I didn't do it. I don't think I have any friends that would do it, but we're driving to pick Callie up this morning, me and my roommate, and I'm like, of all people that would do that kind of stuff, <laughs> it's Josh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you didn't even guess it. Yeah, because she was distracted because she was showing Sydney her apartment. So Yeah, we so, were like, yeah, she's like, girl, come to my room, come, yeah. come to my room. And then Josh is like, it's time. That's like, mean. What? What? <laughs> Perfect opportunity. I don't know if you noticed the fruit was in uh, different... Uh, Bins like you had like four. That's Kim's fruit. Stop uh, touching yeah, my roommate's it. stuff. I moved all that. <laughs> a couple things in the uh, cupboard. I moved like all the way to the top shelf just yeah. so you'd have to reach up <sighs> for it. Yeah, he Good like threw the pebbles in the sink. <laughs> yeah, <me>. guys, <laughs> I could I ruin moved, my plumbing. <laughs> I moved the soap dispenser around to the other side. <sighs> like, she thinks he's a comedian. He really I does. Know. I just wanted to see how far <laughs> he could go, and it, it took you a little bit. I was getting. I was like curious if you actually found out. Yeah, yeah. I, I I did think it was my roommate, but then when I found out it wasn't, we both freaked out a little bit on the inside. <laughs> yeah, see, I was freaking out, um, getting ready to go out because we went to McAdoo's, and this okay, I don't know what happened at McAdoo's. I took oh, the I biggest do. L's of my life. That was hilarious. So beforehand, I was like, I hope I don't get anything on my shirt. I have my napkin right in my lap, and I think I'm good to go. You're I very go particular for, as well. Very particular on on uh, clothing for yeah. sure. But then 
have a, a boneless wing, and I'm like, okay, I got this next bite. But, you know, sometimes you eat too much of it, and it can fall off the fork. So I'm going to get it, and I miss it completely, and it lands right in the middle of my shirt. Did not hit the napkin or anything. Floppy. Oh. And so for literally 20 minutes, <laughs> everybody was trying to help clean the shirt. <laughs> was it white? But here's, no, it's like here's you can the... notice a little bit, but if you had to, you know, put some water on it. Here's the good. best yeah. thing about it, though, is, is Josh was, we were like, oh, our Ooh. other friend had told Josh that he needs to be the type of friend you need, and so that made Josh go, oh, okay, let me help you. He grabs a <laughs> napkin, sticks it in the water, and then he's wipe, He's leaning across the table wiping how he's shirt, and our waitress <laughs> walks up. She was like, oh, y'all are cute. And <laughs> I, Yeah, so she's watching me reach across the table <laughs> dabbing his shirt and at this point like she's got the like weirdest look on her face but at this point i don't know what to do so i just kept like dabbing his shirt with water at, and they're like no i think I, th- I think we're good like as i'm wiping his adorable. stomach yeah yeah true so, <laughs> that was true friend right there it gets even better than that so i was doing a vlog for my class and i gave josh the phone and Big he mistake. has it drops the phone somehow it landed in my wing sauce like pile I, well, somehow I, mean, I got I was vlogging and I got scared because I accidentally pushed one of the buttons. <laughs> so I went to quickly look around to see if it was still like recording, and it slipped and it literally somersaulted across the entire table and landed in the sauce. As the waitress got to us again and asked us how we were doing, <laughs> she hated you guys. Probably. Yeah, oh yeah. she looked at us like what? She, she was in training too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, that was one of the worst uh, experiences I had at a restaurant. Do you have any best or worst experiences that you had? So. I don't know if you guys remember, but Boone Saloon was probably, it was rough that one time. Oh, yeah. yeah. But they are busy, so, you know, shout out to Spoon Balloon, (laughs) as I call it. Um, But he, that was, the service was not very good that day, but. They also just turned into a restaurant. Yeah, so so they're getting used to it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you always remember. It's unfortunate for the restaurant industry because you always remember your worst experiences at restaurant, but you never really write reviews or remember your best times. You know? Yeah. I only remember really bad times. Sushi, sh- sushi, <laughs> sushi joints always risky. I'm never yeah. going back to another sushi joint ever. Okay. Okay. I've I never had would, it before. So I would choose a bar over sushi <laughs> again. I would get Harris Teeter sushi before I went out and got it at a restaurant. What happened to I, you? Well, I get sick every time I eat it at a restaurant, I guess. I don't mm. know. I don't know. And then the servers are always like in a rushed or in a bad mood whenever I go there. So, yeah. Harris Teeter packaged sushi. Here I come. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I've had two really good uh, dining experiences. This was a couple years ago because my dad at the time was stationed in Little Rock, Arkansas. So, I went to see him for the summer. And uh, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, and literally it was the fastest dinner I've ever had. It was about 30, 35 minutes in and out. So we were like, yeah, we want our drinks. They bring our wings Fish out. 30, 35 minutes in and out. Quickest service I've ever had. Wow. Were they amazing. busy? They weren't They weren't super busy. It was like just like a normal night for dinner, and they killed it. I was like, what? What is this? What's going on over here? And then also uh, in Seattle at the Hard Rock Cafe. It was really good, too. Ooh, mm-hmm. you lucky. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of places that have some really good dining experiences, and they they stand out. They always get in the back of my mind, for sure. I've- Actually, now that I think about it, I will give Boone Saloon this. We're going to make it even. They're very kind all the time. And whenever I go, they really deal with me. So <laughs> I'm going to have to give them some points for that. <laughs> some They're even. Points. We're good. Mm. I think the worst experience I had, my, my mom, she... She loves to pick fights if she thinks something should be the way it should be. Same. So we went. We've never. We never went to Olive Garden at this point in my life, and we went for the first time. Um, I don't know. I was maybe eighth grade, ninth grade, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Went to Olive Garden, and my brothers are very particular about their food. <laughs> and on the menu, you couldn't simply just order chicken strip for some reason. Like it came with something else. Like mm-hmm. don't ask me. I, I wasn't entirely sure what was actually happening, but I know my mom flipped. And the table. I wish. <laughs> she might as well have, honestly. She wrecked havoc. She, havoc. she yelled at the uh, waitress. She yelled at the general. And the, she called the general manager out and everything. She's like, why can't I just order this? She, they're like, you just can. She's like, why not? It doesn't make any good 20-minute argument. Are you serious? What? Yep. Have we, you ever been back? No. We're, we're <laughs> never going back at this point. But that yeah, food was good. I don't know what she was complaining about. I, I enjoyed right. it. But after she yelled at them for a good 20 minutes, it was it's just. Uh, my mom. <laughs> you know, that's not something to my mom. My mom, if something is wrong, she will tear it up. Yes. 
yes. completely it's a mama bear thing. from the floor up. Yeah. So don't let my mom mm. get mad because she'll <laughs> go up in there and she will tell you how she feels. And coming up on the morning app, we have some celebrity news as well as teachers and parents. What is up with that? It is Cleopatra Lumineers on the app. And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Good morning and happy Monday. So this weekend, some juicy news happened. Oh, other juicy. than Josh messing up my apartment? 
Yes, that's involved <laughs> another Josh. That was breaking oh. news. Ooh, Josh is strike again. Josh <laughs> Dumel and Fergie are no more. What? Yeah. I, honestly, I didn't even know they were together till I looked well, on. I didn't know Fergie <laughs> was married. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that either. But Fergie now, was married? To Josh Dumel. Ooh. Yeah, who's that? Girl. Safe Haven boy. <laughs> Don't know. Come again? Oh. Do another one. What's the, who, who's I, he? I told you Transformers. He I've was never the Marine. Seen that. Never seen that. Um, Anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, He's yeah, probably yeah. in other stuff, but yeah. I'm very excited. I, that's terrible, but I am excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited Wait, to see where yeah. they flourish and go on their own paths. Okay, okay. So question one, how long were they together? And second, why'd they break up? Um, they were together for eight years. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Solid. And then and they, they have a got son. a divorce? Yeah. It happens. Oh, my yeah. heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but they broke up because of differences. I mean, they are two very different people. Yeah. I mean, I love Fergie when I'm at a party, and then Josh Jumel is just kind of relaxed. Yeah. Um, all their friends said they saw it kind of coming, but it was an amicable breakup. So they're all, everything's all good. They have a child, so I think they're making the best out of the situation. Yeah, I'm like, that's not good for the child, but. Yeah, I see both of them, though. I think that they are very mature and they can handle this more than other people who get divorced. So, and then they can just take it on and be good to go. Yeah. Wow, I just looked up who Josh Dumel was. <laughs> Happy you yes. did, aren't you? Huh. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> not, not a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your eyes back, right? <laughs> now you know why I sound like a terrible person. Like, okay. But I do love Fergie. She's awesome. Glamorous. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what a bop. Clumsy. 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 Yeah, Fergie gosh, has great. too many bops. Way too many. I love yeah. her. And so you go to a party and you hear Fergie, you're like, oh, hey. M, M, yeah, I don't know. Oh, so. <laughs> us Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> totally us Friday night. Um, But yeah, and then... Going back to, uh, what, last week's article I think you shared with us, Molly? Jamie uh, Foxx. Yeah, Jamie Foxx. I believe, like, right after you said that, later in the week, they went public. It was fate. Yeah, it's Jamie Foxx and... Katie Holmes. Katie, Katie Holmes, Holmes yeah. Correct. Because yep. as of Monday last week, Molly was here on the show telling us how it's a secret lo- relationship that everyone knows about. And then, like, a couple days later, they finally went public, which, I mean, good for them. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they went out, they talked to Tom Cruise, I think, or they were going to, which should be very interesting, because last time I saw a big article about him, he was jumping on a couch, confessing his love for <laughs> Katie Holmes. <laughs> okay. So, now he's going head over heels for it, right? Now, who do you take in a fight? Do you take Jamie Foxx or Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise? No. Yeah, uh, Tom Cruise gets swole for all of his yeah. roles. I agree, but he's kind of, he kind of, ugh, he's kind of short. <laughs> And that Jamie Fo- Jamie Foxx has been in a lot more action movies hey, lately. Okay, look, it doesn't matter the height. Right? It doesn't matter <laughs> I, I, the size know, of the dog in the fight. <laughs> I agree, but Jamie Foxx is also taller, and he's been buff- beefing up for all these new action movies. And so I'm going to take Jamie. But Tom Cruise is always doing action movies. That's his forte. Yeah, but he just hurt himself doing uh, a stunt on the set of Mission Impossible 6. So oh. maybe a little weak, okay? Ooh. You because target that one area, Jamie Foxx <laughs> got him. Too many Mission Impossible. There's That's a why. lot. Yeah, <laughs> the last two are really good. I highly recommend it. They're actually good. It's, it's different between the Jason Bourne movies because those get progressively worse while Mission Impossible <laughs> well, stays about the same or maybe better, maybe lower, but yeah. around the same. I like all the Bourne movies. But that's just me. The last one was not good. I think. I, I mean, I thought it was good, but Kristen, what do you think? I know you watch a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I have The Rock on my side? <laughs> I don't know any celebrities aside from um, The Rock. Yeah, Dwayne that's about Johnson. it. What's his, no, what's his, I was about to ask what, her, what his real name is because I doubt she would have gotten it. Oh, no, I know. I know. He's the one celebrity I think I follow. Him and Ellen DeGeneres. So what's his yeah. name? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay I know my stuff, Molly. <laughs> well, I know one category of celebrities, and it's Dwayne. So. Yeah, and Ellen. <laughs> and Ellen DeGeneres because how can you not love her? She's true, great. <laughs> true. Well, also, one thing that did happen this uh, past weekend is Kevin Hart. So he had to take the Instagram to talk about uh, a potential scandal. Ooh. That was yeah. going on with his uh, new wife. So this actually came about like a couple months ago, actually, where people were saying, oh, yeah, Kevin Hart, she on his wife. Like, it was called coming out. And somebody was just making a claim that it's happened, but he's still denying it that it's not happening. And so it's been a back and forth scenario for the last couple of months. And it's like, when is it going to end? Hasn't Kevin Hart had several failed mar- marriages? He had one. One. He yeah. had one because of cheating. Mm. So that did happen. This was like four or five years ago, I think. This is just before he got uh, popular. But okay. he openly talked about it. He's like, yeah, I messed up completely. And he, he uses that um, as kind of his comedy. Yeah, as comedy. So, um, yeah, he totally admits what he 
did the first time. But I don't think he would do it a second time. I don't think he would, See, he would be that I guy, but his, I don't know. His public apology on Instagram, because I, I was scrolling through Instagram, I saw that, I'm like, oh, shoot, what happened to Kevin Hart? And I w- started reading a bunch of articles on it. And from what everyone is saying, they're like, in the uh, Instagram video, he basically implied that he did cheat on his pregnant wife. Mm. She's like 31 weeks pregnant, I believe. Um, so he basically, they're saying he basically admitted to cheating on the cheating on his uh, wife with this chick who was has now been blackmailing him, I think, for the past couple of weeks or months um, because she videotaped the whole scene. Now, no one's seen Ooh. the videotape or anything, but Kevin Hart just, I guess, finally said, I'm done. I'm just going to admit that, I, you know, I did something with her. So oh. here's the thing. Do you believe once a cheater, always a cheater? Because you just said, I think he learned from his mistakes, but clearly... Yeah, well, see, we it's implied. We don't know if it's true or not. Yeah, yeah, remember that we got. Okay, so be foggily. On this. Okay, now if he did do it, then yeah, yeah. Once a <laughs> cheater, always a cheater. Yeah, yep. yeah. Dang. Cause you did it once, you you could do it again. So you're always gonna be a cheater. Come on, Kevin. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Come on, <laughs> Kevin Hart. <laughs> well, once a cheater, always a cheater. That could apply in school too. Oh. And I, right now, I have. Lists that teachers reveal the things they wish their parents knew about their child. Um, So as you know, teachers have a really tough job. And I give them a lot of credit because I am only a camp counselor. And that requires a ton of patience. So I could never be a teacher as well. Um, But I have a list of some of them for you here. I wish I could tell parents that spending quality time with your kids is more important than spending tons of money on them. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. That is a big one. Yeah. Um, I always wanted to look at a parent and say, I didn't give your child a C, D, or an F. They earned it, so don't yell at me. Oh. oh that's fire, got right? Him. <laughs> I, I think I've had, I have not me, but one of my friends had that experience when I was growing up. It was like, yeah, you earned a C. And I was like, mm. mm. Now, <laughs> how long did the teacher sit there trying to think of that response, okay? That's the real <laughs> question here. See, Throughout the entire yeah. class, I gave him just a huge test just to think about that. She's like, hmm. See, that's the problem. <laughs> if, you, if you plan an appointment to meet with them, then they think everything they're going to say to you when oh, talking yeah. about your child. But if you go in there after hours, then they can't do anything. Like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, this is another one that I I kind of understand. It's it's my job to teach your child, not to parent them. So why am I still changing the diaper of a five-year-old? Potty train your children. Whoa. Okay, I can uh, that I can relate to because mm-hmm. I went to I used to teach summer school, summer camp, yeah. kind of. It's educational, but it's still fun. And there was kids that were s- still, you know, having issues with potty training, and that's fine. Everybody's at their own pace. You know, I'm patient, but still, <laughs> yeah. But there's there, an it's age. a guideline. It's a, it's in the. Mm -hmm. rules I guess I nannied for this one family once and I believe he was five and he was still in diapers and I was just you know like once in a while I understand you know if they're having troubles or a disability whatever it doesn't matter but this kid was completely fine completely normal and like would even back talk me and then I'd have to change his diaper it was horrible (laughs) I'm a five year old no that's ridiculous um, another one is your kid is acting out in the classroom because you're not disciplining him at home Mm. oh wow that's that's personal that's <laughs> really hitting the parents hard here if a teacher says that oh no that's not good. <laughs> this is one i relate to so hard though please teach your child not to talk back and also teach them to wash their hands i can only say this so many times to a six-year-old in the classroom not to hate that child but washing your hands is so important kids just don't do it and that is a ger- that is a petri dish dish of germs right there but in the classroom. Yeah. Germs make you stronger. I mean, I I, you I, I mean, that immune yeah, system. But yeah. <laughs> I'm a germaphobe, so I consistently wash my hands. Mm-hmm. But children, it's kind of building them up a little bit. But I mean, I understand if they're like wiping, you know, their nose and stuff. That's that's pretty gross. I don't know. I just get so sick every time I go back to um, the summer camp I work at because they're just every every child carries like a billion germs on them, and then they're all like Miss Kristen, Miss Kristen, Miss Kristen, like wiping their hand on me, um, their snotty little hands. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure we all carry about a billion germs on us. Okay, Josh. Yeah, come on, <laughs> science. All right. Well, coming up next here on the morning app, we have the oh so popular morning shower thoughts with Joshua here on ninety point five WASU.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. 90.5 WASU. It is 832 in the morning on this lovely Monday. And it's actually going to be warm. Kristen, what's the weather like? Warm. <laughs> Don't sound so Let it take your thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just upset. I was ready for fall, and now it's high of 75 and a low of 56. Not cold enough. Um, but it's going to be nice. At least it's, it'll be sunny pretty much all week. We might get a scattered um, rainstorm later this week, but it, it looks like it's going to be nice outside and warm. Oh, yeah. thank you. I know I ask you this every week, but what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the same page as her. See, right? oh. here's the thing is my apartment doesn't have air conditioning. Conditioning. Either. <laughs> yeah, so. but it's not going to be hot. It's going to be like 75 with a little Perfect. bit of a breeze. If it's no. over 50, it's hot. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, you're okay, also wearing Chicago a- got to go. She's got to go. <laughs> also wearing a hoodie right it's now. It's called fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Get with it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, well, you know what else we all love here? Mm. The mo- really? Mm. Really? Mm. The morning shower <laughs> spot. <laughs> Come on, these are deep. These are just get you something like it's something to think about for the rest of your day, rest it's of your a life. Monday even. morning, I don't want to think about anything except okay, for fine. bed. <laughs> maybe, maybe you'll think about it later in the week. Okay, but this first one, I'm really proud of this one. I really like this one. Okay, I showed it to my brother and he freaked out about it. He may have just done that to freak out with me because we just like to freak out about things <laughs> randomly and just like be like, I can't believe. Yeah, <laughs> so he may have done that, but. All right, here it is. What if the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs was a UFO and we are actually the aliens? Uh Uh-huh. See, Howie at least is playing (laughs) along. Wait. Me too. I mean, I kind of see that. I'm open to that type of stuff. I like mythological stuff. It's not a mythological. <laughs> it's not mythological. It kind of like Greek yeah. gods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, mythological. It'd be Greek okay. mythology if it was. Fair, fair. That's what I instantly think of. But yeah. I don't know. Isn't there proof somewhere out there no. that humans were around during the dinosaur age? Like, not even humans, but maybe Neand- Neanderthals. Neand- no, because they were, cause they were <laughs> like <laughs> millions of years ago, and humans were like 10,000 years ago. Yeah. There Cavemen. might have been primates so. that were kind of similar to us. Yeah, maybe yeah. yeah, maybe there were different people there and then the asteroid came, killed them and the dinosaurs off and our us okay. our new species okay. came. Yes. Do you know how cool that be? We were actual UFO maybe. Okay, Aliens. so where's the UFO though? That crashed. Uh it's classified. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah, need to know and you don't need. Yeah. <laughs> um Going along those same lines, here's another one kind of like from where, where did we come from. If man evolved from apes, why do we still have apes? Yeah. Because okay, some of I've, us didn't evolve. No. no I've but, actually thought about this yeah. oh, hardcore, good. Thanks too. for playing along. No, I'm not playing <laughs> along. I, I genuinely have thought about this because if they did evolve from apes, then they would have evolved as well. What set those apart? Yeah. And then I thought, oh, continental drift. Maybe they were stuck on another continent. But if it was no. a thing that was supposed to happen, why didn't it happen to the rest of them? I know, right? Yeah. There's that is a something. lot of factors that go into it. A lot of factors. Like maybe <laughs> the environment that they were in. Humidity. They learned differently. Uh, I'm, but it, it was evolution. Like, yeah. Some people just don't evolve. Yeah. That's it's kind of like us today. <laughs> like some of us never mature. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm with you, Kristen. I, I, I'm i not on board with that whole philosophy because we all should have gone up in some capacity. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And you think, too, that we probably would have evolved more from what we are now. If we evolved so much yeah. from apes, we we should have, like, a third thumb, right? We we're, should be A third right thumb? Now. Wait, what? We should evolve in some manner if we were constantly evolving from apes. Maybe not a third thumb, but, you know, We, something. we should be superheroes, actually, with superpowers. Uh, yeah, why don't we fly? Yeah. What, yeah. what the heck? Well, we can't evolve now. Because we're kind of just like stuck. And we're all couch potatoes yeah, now. We're, all potatoes. <laughs> we're thriving now. So. All right, kind of a side note about like evolving as humans. My uh, just tr- quick story. My roommate is actually digressing as an adult. I told Howie this. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, about a week ago, he actually and I, I told you all I'm a huge Lego guy. I love Lego, especially Star Wars Legos to death. And about a week ago, my roommate, I came home. My roommate like yelling for me. He's like, Hey, hey, come! You gotta come look at this. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and he, he bought a little Minecraft Lego set. Oh okay, my little my guy Lego build and everything. I was pretty ecstatic for him because it was awesome, but it was pretty cheap. Yesterday, I wake up and he's going to Walmart. And I'm like, "You're gonna go grocery shopping without me?" It's like, actually, I'm gonna go buy more Legos. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, let me know what you get. And he comes home later, and I'm like, "Okay, what what'd you get me?" And he's like, "Don't be mad." I'm like, "What did you do?" He bought a hundred and twenty dollar Millennium Falcon Star Wars Lego. 
I was what? so happy. Like, not for him, because it was way too much money. <laughs> <laughs> but so I know, as a college kid, he has no money for food. He decided to buy a Lego instead. That is regression. <laughs> right, I know. And, okay, and then we got him to return it because it was too much, but then he went back, bought two smaller Legos and a bin of Pokemon cards. So pretty much the same amount. Basically. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What, yes. what are you going to do with Pokemon cards? You got to trade them. got to catch hey, them yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, he got the whole bin full of them because he, he, his uh, explanation for that was, I needed something to hold my other Pokemon cards in. <laughs> So, yeah, that was just a quick side note. He is definitely a child. <laughs> All right, we, we can do a couple more here. Here's another morning shower thought. What should you do if you see an endangered animal eating an endangered plant? You let it happen because it's yeah, nature. That's nature. <laughs> that's nature thing. for you. Nature. <laughs> see, I would, is it harder to preserve uh, plants than it is organisms, like living organisms like that? Plants um, have more seeds, I feel like, yeah, so it's a little bit easier to cultivate them. Yeah. But an- animals, you know, there's only so many of them. Yeah, that's and, true. Um, I mean, what are you going to do? you going to, like, grab the animal and be like, no, no, can't eat that, and, like, drag him away from it? <laughs> <or no. laughs> but he needs to eat in order to live and not yeah. become endangered. <laughs> that's true. Well, give, so, him, give him something else. Give him uh, the fast food you order from McDonald's, yeah. Oh, that's uh, yeah, yeah, that's t- totally good for him. <laughs> yeah, that'll keep him alive for yeah. sure. Yeah, he'll, he'll live. Don't he'll worry. be a new man, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is the last one I got. Ever wonder what the speed of lightning would be like if it didn't zigzag? Think at the bad of it, because every single lightning bolt you ever see ever is kind of zigzagged. But yeah. not that much. I mean, they're pretty... No, pretty... no, that's the cartoon version. I a real know, lightning but... strike is maybe a little wobbly, but pretty straight. It's just, I think mm. the current of the like electricity kind of just makes Scatters. it look shaky and scattered. I don't know. I don't like that one. And it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a lightning strike, you said? Yeah, like lightning <laughs> bolt, lightning strike, yeah. Because, I mean, think about it. The Tampa Bay Lightning a sports team has that logo. Yeah. The Flash superhero has the that logo. They're comparing this to superhero. Yeah. The killers and have sports. a lightning bolt. Yeah, see, no, I am. Because the first thing I thought about with that was actually the Flash TV show because on his chest he has like the little lightning bolt that's a zigzag. And I'm like, just imagine how much faster you would be if you went in a straight freaking line. <laughs> like, come on, Flash. No, I don't think oh it's... I think, I think this one was a little bit too deep. Because <laughs> I don't think you have to go that deep with a, with a thunderbolt or lightning bolt. I, I mean, don't think you have to go that deep. That, so. That's, that's literally how my mind works, going from one thing to the next. Not even real lightning. Like, Kristen, you definitely make sense. Obviously, a lightning bolt, you know, goes pretty straight down. But Sometimes they make a lot of sense, Josh. I, I went straight to the yeah. superhero, the Flash, and I'm like, okay, he could be a lot faster if he just went straight. Josh, you have one of the, the brightest and boldest open minds that I have ever yeah. seen, for Why, sure. Thank you. You really, you think critically about a lot of things is what I like. Right? They should and make sense. Coming up next, it's time to think a little more critically about your relationship, 10 things to do if you're catching feelings, and are you being too picky on the app?
And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. 8.44 on this lovely Monday morning. And right now we are talking all things relationships, but also start of relationships. Okay, we're not mm. talking about the the I'm a year in right now and all these problems are happening or whatever, but the feels. When you oh. first catch the feels, that's what we're talking about right now on the morning app. 10 things to do if you're catching the feels for somebody that you don't want the feels for. No one wants the feels. Nobody wants them. Nope. No. Be oh. emotionalist. Wow, Black guys. Hole. We're Come single on. for a reason. Yeah, we're all single except Hashtag for you for a reason. Life. <laughs> Love life. The Love feels the feels. are scary, okay? The feels are great. They're scary. Friends are scary. That's yes. the best yes. part. <laughs> is the butterflies, the feels, the beginning of the relationship, the flirting. It's the best part. Well, actually, the best Yuck. part is when you're like really comfortable at, like a year in. <laughs> you just don't care anymore and you never have to wear makeup. That part's great, too. We wouldn't know. But. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number one is don't live in denial. So if you have feels for somebody you don't want the feels for, admit it. First step is admitting. Yeah, that'd be some really good advice to give people. I didn't take that advice during the summer. <laughs> that so, I mean, yeah. that, that sound that's the same advice you give alcoholics. So <laughs> how much stock does it have? Admit that you have a problem. Yeah, that's true. All right, number two is get away from them. So stop spending so much time with them. If you don't want the feels for them, get away. I'm the queen of that. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. It's over. <laughs> Limit or stop your communication, which goes along with getting away from them. Think about all their flaws. That is horrible. That's so mean. <laughs> no, because yeah, but no. You gotta make a Sometimes list. you need to do that because if somebody's so perfect in your mind, you gotta find something wrong, like mm, their eyelashes don't curl or something like that. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's that is picky. I, well, I mean, I don't know. That's just something little. If somebody's so perfect, you gotta find something wrong with them. <sighs> okay, but then you get down to okay. Wait, if the only thing wrong with them is their eyelashes, <laughs> what am I even making? Gonna list four. It could be their personality. All right, another one is to defer your feelings onto somebody else. Catch the feelings for another person. <laughs> okay, wow. Healthy. Okay. I wish I could just like take my feelings and then just put them over there. <laughs> Move them somewhere Where else. else? <laughs> you, you find a random chick. You're like, hey, I have feelings for another girl, but I, I don't want them. Can I? Yeah. Can I have feelings for you? Yeah. <laughs> like transfer it over. <laughs> like, I love that. Can I be that person? <laughs> but see, here, here's my whole beef with this article: is if you have the feelings for somebody, why would you not want the feelings for them? Yeah, if you right? have the feelings, it clearly means that there is something there and you should be okay with that. Why would yeah. you not be okay with having feelings for somebody, you know? Well, I, I've kind of been sense? going through that recently. No, I, I get you. you. I know what you're saying, but sometimes you know somebody's not right for you. Like, whether that be you guys fight a lot or something like that. Like, you should match up, but you don't. But you have yeah. the feels anyway. But you have the feels anyway. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting from this and that happens to me all too often because so. you want what you can't have maybe yes yeah. I'm yeah. the queen of it <gasps> Ooh, or maybe if they're in a relationship and you catch the feels for them because they're uh, a friend or something okay now Jessie's now girl. I kind of see yeah. Jesse's uh, girl situation yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand all right well actually that makes sense because number nine, nine on this list is remember why you can't be together so I guess that could be maybe you're in the same friend circle, or they're taken, or I guess they just don't match up for you. Or yeah. you made them up. Or you made them up. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's sometimes, like though, uh, people that you get feels for, you, you kind of have to sit back and, like, we're better as friends than we would be dating. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that happens sometimes. Like, that's happened to me recently, too. It's like, yeah, we're better as friends than we are, like, together as a couple. So. Mm -hmm. My last piece of advice for if you have the feelings for somebody you shouldn't have them for is to make some personal goals for yourself and work towards them. So focus on school or work or something you've always wanted to learn, like unicycling. I don't know, anything. Just focus on yourself and a goal and set that in your mind. And you'll yeah. put your feelings yeah. towards that. Yeah. No, I, I, I get that. See, when, you, when you're uh, living the single life, you got to just <laughs> not think about it. If you don't, you know, just know that it's going to come eventually and... Just focus on yourself. Be the best yeah. you you can be. There you go. For sure. And kind of going into that, um, are we being too picky with our dating scene? Can you be too picky? I'm very picky, See, actually. Yeah. This article says that we are being too picky, but I don't agree, but I As kind of like our, that. Our generation? Or? Yeah. It's saying how um, dating apps are giving us kind of too much of a option. And that we focus too much on physical characteristics rather than personality, no. which I do agree because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, yeah. Uh, personality, it's saying to start with their personality and kind of make what you want 
a list of what you want in somebody personality wise and then you'll become more attracted to them which I've definitely kind of experienced before I'm like ew it's that way mm-hmm. and then I've realized how nice of a guy somebody is and kind of taken a chance do you guys feel like that's ever happened to you yeah I totally understand that I mean I do think it's hard because you don't want to say oh you're being too picky because it's like well that's what I want and I don't want to settle and I understand that because I'm that way with my career or my work I mean, or my homework I don't ever settle I just I'm very picky with it yeah um not to compare your boyfriend to homework but <laughs> 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 but like I do I could see that especially with dating apps you can become very picky with who you want physically but that's not what matters at the end of the day yeah. because you know what we're all going to get old and fat so yeah <laughs> True. just laugh Speak at the end yourself. of the day with them <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's me too i'm i'm really attracted to personality more than physical mm-hmm. features that's just like i mean you can connect that's all i need exactly yeah. i mean i mean you still have to i don't know i mean personality yeah big of course obviously but i don't know some people okay say you have like maybe your family has like a medical history in some area and a uh, different person has, you know, an issue in that field. Like you just can't get over the obstacle of that. Do you know what I'm saying? You would not date someone because they're medical. No, 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 <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Let's you say. have a bad credit score. No, you're not dating. <laughs> no, what, no. Like personality. Are we still speaking like activity as well? Like you're a very active person. Like does oh, that, that go along with personality or what? That, like that's something that you value. So of course you're not going to date somebody that's lazy because Josh, you never sit down. Yeah. You need yeah. somebody that's going to keep up with you. So I yeah. think there's instances where you're going to be picky on stuff that you value. Like yeah, yeah. you value being active. So you need a girl that's going to be active. But I think it, what it's talking about is like being too picky but i also think with personality but i also think that if you are being too picky it means that you yourself personally might not be ready for a relationship because yeah. you're mm-hmm. nitpicking mm-hmm. then yeah that's how i am i i realized that recently it's like <laughs> oh i just don't want anybody to talk to me leave me alone <laughs> um but i definitely think even with dating you can change people like this summer i was not active and i started dating somebody and he kind of made me like go out of my comfort zone, start hiking more, eating, like, really well and stuff. But I think that's kind of nice to have some differences sometimes. I think that's good because he brought out, you know, the best of you. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, well, I I don't want to say you're not the best already, but, you know, he inspired you to be healthy, you know. So I think that's a good thing, too. I don't think that's being picky. But he's still the worst. <laughs> See, I need that personality right there, That's and you I put like it right there, yeah. into a girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need a, a healthy, active, brings the best out of me right there. So oh. find him, take him, and then like drag his soul out and put in someone else. Jeez, he is not in the country right now. So <laughs> I'll ask him when he gets back. Josh, okay. why don't we just set you up on Bumble? No, don't mm. put him on a dating app. No, the only I'm not gonna lie, I did do a dating app for a little bit. Yes, Molly, I did. But no. the only the only you want to know why? Because I really just wanted to see if my pickup lines were good. And they Aww. weren't. Okay, because my, my room... <laughs> oh. Yeah, they, they were excellent, thank you very much. My roommate was doing it, and I'm like, wait, what pickup line are you doing? And every single time, without fail, he goes, um, if you were a vegetable, you'd be a cucumber. No, that's over you. Okay, yeah. That and he's like, not... I hated it. And every and every single girl like he said it to loved it, apparently. And I'm no. like, dude, I'm, let me show you a good pickup line. So I went through and just found a whole bunch of pickup lines and started sending them out until I found like a good, solid one. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, here's your new pickup lines. Go use them. And, I mean, he, he likes them a lot more now. But that's literally the <laughs> only reason I actually used a dating app, just to see how many laughs I could get with the pickup lines. That cucumber pickup line has been around for ages that is nothing new. like that if the girls were laughing at that it's because they thought he was cute and or, they wanted to talk to him it was yeah. not a good pickup line I, I, i'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm loving highly that joke. comfortable <laughs> I'd be like, they, <laughs> nervous laugh that wasn't funny <laughs> but he's still a very kind guy and anybody would be lucky to date josh Aww. So. Aww. Oh any girls God. listening any single girls any at all yeah. <laughs> joshua uh, any single girls josh is available <laughs> oh man <laughs> <laughs> oh look at his face it's turning oh. red it's no, just sunburned. That, yeah, that's actually the sunburn from this week. <laughs> but yeah, still available. <laughs> I mean, like, what things could you really be uh, picking on? Going back on that topic, like, what what thing kind of draws you to like one person that you want to talk to? Um, so normally for me, it's somebody that's super funny and that can make me laugh because I love to laugh and I'm kind of a goofy person myself. And somebody that can calm me because I'm pretty hyper. No, yeah, I totally, totally yeah. feel that. I get worried and anxious about everything. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. It's it's definitely nice to have somebody to kind of even each other out, make them more outgoing, just thrive off of each other. I mean, physically, I usually go for the same type. Yeah. It's always brown, <laughs> curly hair. No, it's uh, so true, though. Every bad. time I see a guy that looks like somebody Molly would date, I point him out, and she's like, yep. 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 Like, what's brown his name? Huh? What's his name? Mackie time. with Molly. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> we don't keep that anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, well... It's going to be a great week ahead. I am almost sure of it. Not really, but <laughs> it's going to be great. We're back here Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock with the great Dovidas as our alternate Dovidas. guest. So stick with us on the morning app.